This is AI PIN Explained. To understand AI PIN, let's go back 17 years to when the modern smartphone was introduced. When the iPhone was introduced, it was presented using a positioning graph with two axes, one smart and the other easy to use. And at the time, we had devices like BlackBerry, Nokia, Palm, Motorola, and Sony. Up in the corner, a truly reimagined smartphone came along and changed everything. The iPhone was revolutionary because it was smart and easy to use. And now, many years later, we're at a point where everything should be smart and easy to use, and people are looking for more from their devices as they use them for everything. And that thing is more freedom and more presence. And with the emergence of AI, we start to ask ourselves, what's the right kind of form factor for it? Let's plot computers as we currently have them. We've got desktops here that require you to sit at a desk, no freedom. And we've got smart speakers that keep you present, but don't easily come with you. And then there's laptops, smartphones, and smartwatches, each providing a bit more freedom, but lack the sense of presence we're all looking for. This is where AI PIN comes in. It provides presence because of its form factor and greater freedom because of its automated operating system. And if you follow the trajectory, this is where everything needs to go. Okay, so how do you know what you need for AI? Let's think of computing like Maslow's hierarchy of needs. At the bottom are the basics, the fundamentals. Desktops and laptops are great for your foundational computing needs. In the middle, let's put our smartphones. Here we get connectivity and performance, but they're all still really manual. What's missing is something that's truly personal and allows for true autonomy. AI PIN sits on top because it uses intelligent systems, allowing you to be more agile and be more seamless. The desktop is broad at its base, and it can do a lot of things. The smartphone is narrower in terms of capability. AI PIN, while narrower, is actually more agile and always there and ready to go. The big difference here is that AI PIN can have a through line through all of your computers. And that means, with the benefit of these intelligent systems, your AI PIN will one day be capable to interact and drive all of your computers. Let's talk about how AI PIN works. Here's AI PIN. I'll draw a few concentric circles around it. And our architecture works like this. We have something called AI Bus that facilitates the routing of all queries. It works on device and on cloud and figures out what you need. For things like on-device interactions, like time and battery, those things are the fastest, nearly instant. Then let's say you recall a memory with AI PIN. It uses the AI bus to communicate with our endpoints and comes back to the PIN. Sometimes AI PIN needs to hit multiple endpoints on the broader internet, like a multi-hop reasoning question, for example, and those queries can take a little while. Things like vision, where it can scan a scene and analyze it, understand what's in it, and get you that analysis, can take a short period of time as well. We're working hard to reduce latency everywhere in our OS, and this is something that will certainly improve over time. Lastly, we'll quickly explain how AI PIN understands context. And that comes from three overlapping parts of our input system. We've got the microphone, which understands what's being said, and our RGB camera and depth sensor understand what's being seen and knowledge is what questions you've asked or things you've told your PIN. And in the center, in the overlapping section here, is what we call memory. And we understand memory like this, in real time, in the short term, and in the long term. And by combining these inputs and generating memory, that's how the system understands context. And that, at a high level, when put all together, is how AI PIN works.